going ahead with next question question 18 it asks me to create a user neck ADM ground neck ADM access to the cluster it should have permissions to create list get update and delete codes in the neck namespace so two things are clear uh, we we are going to have neck namespace already available and there are uh, some key and CSR files that are already there in the location. So let's let's check it if they exist already. Uh, if I say ls okay ls g equal to cube ls it is there g get ms neck the neck also exists. Now in such questions it is important that we understand the documentation there and there will be a lot of uh, yaml files not a lot of but at least three yaml files that we would be dealing with let's just create them one by one first of all just go to kubernetes documentation search for certificate signing request or search for a new user and then come to this location where new normal user creation is available and copy this content from here to here and within this content you just need to make sure uh, as per the documentation you, do, you can go ahead but uh, let me just clearly tell you quickly you just need to remove this uh, string it is basically an, an encoded or decoded value of uh, your CSR file that we will generate well in advance and then we will place it inside the file. So I have created YAML files already. Also I have removed this expiration second that, that is also not needed. So you can see this is the command pool and uh, decode or encode the value uh, request is base 64 encoded value of CSR file. So base 64 tr hyphen d is the command, and then there is slash n. So let's just create it. Get get make of CSR, and then base 64, and then tr hyphen d. And there is fnm slash this is the so this needs to be specified like this. We have generated this key now. Let's copy this key and take it inside the newly created file. And copy this here and and there is one file with key i'm going to replace this key with what we have copied so this is my nike dm yaml and as you can see as per the question i have changed the username to nike dm it was my user in the sample file now let's create this file uh, created and if you go here see if that file is available g create icon f and then mac adm adm this will create my certificate sign on with this for my adm now i can check my user status the get CSR. Here I can see my NEC ADM is actually pending at the moment. Also, let me check like this. It will also be there. So now to approve this, I need to say G certificate two and then NEC ADM. So if now we check snack again it is approved and should let's just move ahead with the rule and rule binding 
but we need to create a role which will have certain capabilities like as it is mentioned create delete update get so we just need to go to documentation again and in the documentation search for code here we will get uh, roles and responsibilities in our back authorization here within our back authorization you should be able to find the role example so copy this content as you can see it is a role that we are going to create namespace for us it is going to be neck for name it is going to be any any name for this role you, you can specify and then what it does is it it has rules on the resources which with the verbs verbs are actually the actions that you can perform so same file we have created it already let's just copy that macro and make use of it right away as you can see i have specified namespace as mac and i named this role as pod admin and then I just expanded this verbs into whatever is given in the question. So just make row and now I apply as an app. So role has been created, code admin role has been created, which will be applied specifically on neck namespace. Now role binding has to be uh, done and again let's go ahead with the documentation. In the documentation if we go a little further we will be able to see a role binding also. So cluster role binding. And here you can see uh, you can copy this content and here it has all the information that you need. It is role binding that you are creating and what is the name that you want to keep for this. I have specified something else. Namespace is also there. For us, it is neck. And then user, so subject is user. Username is my neck hyphen ADM. And then the role reference is there. Role reference is again identifying what exactly it is going to do. So I have created this file already. I will place this file inside the description of this documentation description of this video you can find this information so let's echo this copy and it is actually going to create oh sorry for binding let's say roll bind and now the roll bind is available neck roll bind so G apply FNF neck roll bind. So roll binding bind is also there. So you can check these information if you want to using G get and then if you want to check this role binding for example then you can copy this content and let's say this and um, name of the namespace where you want to see the role binding for example we want to see role binding inside my mac so as you can see uh, we have role binding created role also has been created now let's this is actually completed although this is a little lengthy for such questions you may get a little bit more time but it is pretty straightforward as you can see once you have practiced it once or twice so if i say g get codes hyphen n neck and then as neck medium should be giving me all the results so this is it i hope you liked it thank you for watching